Thanks, Shawnee. So now that you've decided when and where your vacation is going to be, the next step is to figure out your lodging accommodations. You know, there's so many great places out there, there's almost too many to choose from. In fact, it can be such a stressful process that you may end up needing another vacation just from planning this vacation. Luckily for you, I've broken this big decision down into several small steps. So first, what you need to do is figure out what lodging options are available in your vacation area. For example, there's going to be places such as hotels, motels, hostels, there's going to be Airbnb rentals, some places may even have campsites, and if you're lucky, you may even have a friend in that vacation area that you can bum a couple of nights on their couch. So it's important to know that all of these lodging accommodations have their pros and their cons. So to narrow down all of our options, you need to ask yourself, what are your most important priorities? For example, if you're planning on bringing a friend with you, it's probably a big consideration to have multiple beds available. And typically, financial cost is a big consideration as well. You wanna decide how much you're willing to spend on your lodging at the very beginning of your planning because we wanna make sure you have money left over to do some activities in your vacation area. And speaking of activities, if you're planning on going sightseeing or just out on the town, location, location, location. It's so important to find a lodging accommodation that's going to be in the perfect location, meaning at least in the general vicinity of the area you're gonna be spending most of your time. Mainly because you don't wanna keep traveling back and forth, back and forth. Another factor that you may want to consider are the different amenities that the lodging has to offer you. Some places may have a pool, they may have a hot tub, they may have a 24 seven gym, and some places even have a free breakfast. If these kinds of things are important to you, you want to make sure that your lodging has these options available. And last but not least, I want you to consider the safety of each of these places. Some places are just going to have more measures taken than others. Some places may have some security on the premises or offer a safe in your room, and other places just might be in a more protected and secure area. So if safety is important to you, just make sure you're considering it in your lodging research. Now, once you've figured out what are your most important priorities, it's time to do your homework. So the internet is a great place to start researching all the different places available in your vacation area. You can use the internet to not only research these places and see pictures, but also you can start ranking them based on the priorities that we've already discussed. Now, even though there are so many great lodging options out there, these tips are going to help you find your perfect place to stay. And pretty soon, you're going to be stress-free and on your next vacation. That is, after you book your travel arrangements using Jordan's advice. So take it away, Jordan.